Bears are omnivores, but 75% of their diet is herbaceous. They feed on grasses, leaves, and shoots in the spring, berries in the summer, and hickory and beech nuts, and acorns in the fall. Acorns are so important to bear survival that bear researchers survey the fall acorn crop to predict cub production for the next year. Besides plant material, bears love bees and wasps. Not so much for the honey as you may have heard, but in the fall, bears will dig up hornet and yellow jacket nests to eat the larvae. These are rich in protein and so a valuable food source. Of course, they may indulge in a bit of honey at the same time, but it's the larvae they are really after. The insects are not going to take the raid of their nest kindly and will sting the bear many times. Its heavy fur protects all but the bear's eyes, mouth, and very sensitive nose. When the bear can take the stinging no longer, it will simply walk away. Should you be unlucky enough to be hiking the same trail as a bear, you may come upon a recently disturbed nest. This is not a happy event, as the bees or wasps may treat you as if you were a bear. There is a saying in the Smokies, a fed bear is a dead bear. A bear behaving naturally may live a long life, never interacting with any of the 9 to 10 million visitors who come each year to the park. Black bears have an incredibly acute sense of smell, perhaps 100 times better than a human's. So bears must be able to smell cooking food from quite a distance. Then why aren't bears always in campgrounds and picnic areas? Although the smell of food might attract a bear, their instinct tells them to stay away from humans. But occasionally a bear will lose its fear of humans and cause problems in picnic areas or campgrounds. It usually starts at night when the picnic area is closed. A hungry bear will enter the area and feed on scraps or trash left behind. The reward of food will eventually cause the bear to take more and more risk for the food. Soon the bear might chase people away from their food or damage property while trying to get at food. The Park Service is then forced to relocate the bear, a move that is almost never good for a bear. With as many as 1,600 bears in the park, any relocated bear is being placed in another bear's territory. Conflict often ensues with the interloper being forced to move on. As these encounters continue, the relocated bear is spending more time avoiding conflict than feeding, and so he often enters his winter den underweight. Even worse, troublesome bears may be relocated outside the park, where they are no longer protected. Cars sometimes hit these bears as they cross busy highways, or they may be shot by poachers. Poaching still occurs inside and outside the park, as bears are illegally shot for their skins, claws, and their gallbladders. These internal organs are sold as traditional medicine in the Orient, where a black bear gallbladder may fetch up to $5,000. You can help bears avoid these fates by keeping your campsite or picnic area clean, storing food properly, and using bear-proof trash cans in the park. If your own home is in bear territory, help the bears during their active season by not putting out bird seed or pet food and by securing your garbage.